Hiya, Ted. Don't worry about it. I'll reset the elevator after a few more months of data. We overbought on food pellets and have to get rid of them somehow. Bob. Bob! I told you to fix this elevator weeks ago. It takes hours for everyone to get in here because of your stupid experiment. Moron. Cordially, Ted. Oh. Well, at least Ted's cordial, I guess? Wait, what? I pressed the button! Oh. You ate a stale pellet. press the, the turn the elevator into a freaking Skinner box. Oh, elevator begins to move. Yay! Oh. Ah! My god, Bob, what is this? Did you actually have the gall to commission a bronze statue of yourself? It'll cost us a fortune, you narcissistic dolt! Cordially, Ted. Hiya, Ted! Don't worry, I got a good deal on it. Commission these statues in bulk. I think they really spruce up the facility, especially for the tour. Could be a big moneymaker for us, Bob. Bob, you are so, so very stupid. What about the term classified? Don't you understand? We can't host any tours, moron. Cordially, Ted. And I don't, <laughs> wait, and don't think I didn't notice you put one near the farmhouse. Repeat, classified, put it away, idiot. Cordially, Ted. Oh, these two are gonna be fun. <laughs> Bob P. McTavish, honorary lobby, oh my God. Ooh, I got a brochure. Welcome to Redacted. The future is Redacted. A flashy brochure that appears to be part of the proposed tour of the facility, which includes what Bob thought a modern child looked like. Most of the brochure is redacted, except for the walking sentient corn on the front. I mean, all right. Painted portrait. Why can I do stuff to the painted portrait? That's Bob. This must be Ted. Ted S. Smith, co founder. Wow. All right. Bob P. McTavish, PhD, MA, BSc, DOP, Esquire. <laughs> Someone scratched in co founder. <laughs> All right. What the hell was that? You know what? No. Oh. Hiya, Ted. The fish shipment should be arriving today. Could you be a pal and put them in the tanks for me? Thanks, Bob. Bob, you dummy. There are thousands of water tanks here. Do you realize how much feeding these fish will cost? Cordially, Ted. <clears throat> oh yeah, Bob and Ted are my heroes.
West Hook checkpoint is blocked off. Okay. Cheap jumpsuit? Why do I have a cheap jumpsuit? Made out of material that looks like it will fall apart at the mere thought of a gentle breeze. This jumpsuit should not be worn by anyone. Got it. Ted! Ted, exciting news! I got us a huge deal on jumpsuits for the facility! I got thousands in bulk at a fraction of the price. I've already used the savings for some great stuff. Bob! Nope, wrong button. Bob, you idiot! You got a good deal on them because they are completely useless! Nobody can wear them! Cordially, Ted. Ostentation apparel. Oh my god. Okay. Whoa. Security station. Alright, that piece of background paper is haunted. Reserve power mode active. Appears to be a report on the warfare readiness of the subjects of Project Maze. The report states multiple times that the sentient corn had no discernible method of raising or operating a military firearm and have a habit of taking naps right in the middle of the test. The term abject failure also appears all over the document, a running theme on many reports involving the corn. Okay. And there's some pizza. And pizza delivered to the top secret facility. I have a coat rack. Good for hanging coats, unless it is placed upside down, in which case it is not effective at all. Oh my god. All right. Robotics room. Okay, that's where I put an item. Hello, a tour guidebook. Guidebook of Redacted. It appears to be an official guidebook for a tour of the research facility. A large portion of the text inside has been redacted, but 20 pages are fully dedicated to the giant vats. Wait a minute. Ah. And mostly repeat the refrain that the vats are very large and contain things that should stay in very large vats. Okay. Bob, you jerk. Put my ram back where it was. I know you took it and hid it in that stupid spot of yours. Bring it back here. Cordially, Ted. Your ram? Ooh, a Grippotron. I got. I picked up a Grippotron. Like every model, this Grippotron contains the innate ability to be unable to grasp anything of value with its claws. Good to know. Stop. An old computer. What? Oh my God! It's a. It's a. It's a Commander Forty Two. As its name suggests, this computer is old. You get a sense that it could use an upgrade, and then you spend several minutes trying to figure out what the word upgrade means. Oh my god. Bob, you disgusting slob! Don't you know how to read? Stop eating in here! Glutton? Cordially, Ted. Please, no food or drink. Oh, look, a hard drive. Stop! Did you back up your hard disk? Oh my god. I turned on the power strip. No. I put old computer on desk. Bob, stop playing your stupid games on my computer. It's screwing around with my AI experiments. Idiot. Cordially, Ted. Jumpsuit. English muffin? No. Okay. 
Oh my god, what is all of this? Hiya, Ted! The latest brochure came back from the press. Take a look. I think it'll really boost the tour. And you'll be happy to know that the most sensitive bits have been redacted. Safety first! Bob. Bob, first, you are an idiot. That brochure is incredibly stupid. Second, for the last time, no tours! Cordially, Ted. Ted's voice is killing my throat. Third. <laughs> Sorry, he got a second post-it so he could keep going. Third, if you're going to make this stupid brochure, at least add my name to it. We're co-research heads, remember? As in, same title, jerk. Cordially, Ted. <sighs> Hi, Ted. Really sorry, but the final print has been done and sent off. I'll make doubly sure the next one has your name underneath mine on the front. Bob. Good God, Bob. You, do you have the reading comprehension of a five-year-old? This is a top secret facility. Where did you send those brochures? Moron! Cordially, Ted. <laughs> Can I put my Gripotron somewhere? Oh, actually, it looks like... Wait. What? Okay. That's weird. Okay, well, I turned on the... Wait, did turning on the power strip do anything? It did not. Okay, moving on. So what was down here? Communal Grotto. Oh, yeah, this ought to be fun. Oh, hello, corn. Whoa. Hello, corn friends. What are you guys doing? Cheeseburger wrapper. Why did I pick up a cheeseburger wrapper? Originated from a local fast food restaurant. The nutritional information on the wrapper proudly pro <laughs> proudly proclaims now 100% salmonella free. There are, no exaggeration, thousands of these wrappers littering the facility. But a very fetching mustard stain on this particular one sparked you to pick it up. Okay. Oh, here we go again. <laughs> oh my god, Bob. Bob, Bob is an asshole. Hey, you Ted. Notice that you took down the painting in the lobby. Thanks. That had a little blemish on it. No sweat, though. Here's another one. Be a pal and put it up, would you please? Bob. Bob, I'm not putting up another one of your paintings, you self-indulgent louse. For God's sake, how many did you order? Cordially, Ted. And why is my face on that stupid horse? Cordially, Ted. Oh, God. Ted is, uh, is Napoleon's horse. I love it. Yo, corn friends, what y'all doing? All right. Good. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna go back and check the other direction. This feels like progress. So whatever that was, we saw walk past. All right, went this way. X, an extremely obvious fake panel. I got it. 
a dumbbell is in my folio. Try as you might, you were unable to lift this more than two times in quick succession. And yet somehow you continue to carry it with you wherever you go. I'm cool like that, bruh. What is the purpose of this? There's nothing here. Alright. Oh, there's a locker room. That's always good. Hello. Triumphant test report. The only way this report could sound more triumphant is if trumpets were blared every time it was read. <laughs> Explains the very promising results after examining one of the new sentient corn stalks, a breed of ruby queen corn that shows high levels of intelligence. It also glosses over the fact that this specimen is somehow female, which was apparently impossible under the genetic protocol the facility used to create them. Yeah, we'll just ignore that part. Broken mirror. Always a good sign. Ooh, hello. A sweaty headband. This sweaty headband imbues the wearer with the ability to walk at a slightly brisker pace than normal for short periods of time. It's not worth the risk. <laughs> Ew. And the shower. And the turlet. More broken mirrors. Oh, look. Soap. What the... Something back there I can interact with, but not yet. <laughs> Aha! A nondescript rock. Of course it went to the folio. A run-of-the-mill rock with no defining features whatsoever to discern it from the billions of other rocks currently in existence. Its name is Mabel. Hi, Mabel. Alright, Mr. Large, whatever that was, must have gone this way. The daycare. Okay. Oh, wait. How did I do? Skill number one. Excellent average falls below. Skill number two, following directions, craftsmanship. Okay. That's some. Okay. A children's block. What? It's a nondescript children's block adorned with letters and numbers, and you spend a long amount of time trying to figure out which is which. <clears throat> Eventually, you sort it out, but the number five still fools you every now and then. Teddy bear. Oh, God. A Soviet knockoff of a famous American teddy bear, which says a variety of friendly Russian sayings when powered up. Its name is Vladdy, according to the tag. Looks grumpy. Looks terrifying. Let's, just, let's get that out of here. Oh, God. Here we go. Bob, you lazy buffoon! I know you're spending all your time here and not signing the giant stack of paperwork I left at your desk. Stop playing with your toys and do your job. Cordially, Ted. And also, for the thousandth time, why do we even have a daycare? There are no children here. Halfwit? Cordially, Ted. Wait. <laughs> Hold up. There are no... Oh my god. <laughs> Ooh. Alright. Can I have any of these blocks? No. It's a scarecrow. Looks like the developers like went to a child's school and just snapped a picture. Be ready for a great year. Be creative. Be prepared. Be helpful. Be you. Be responsible. Be respectful. Be safe. Be funny. Be friendly. Be brave. Be healthy. Be smart. Be kind. Be happy. Be active. Be inspired. I didn't even look at this one. What's this one? We are going to have a ball. Oh, and we've got names. 
Okay. I love naps. <laughs> Jesus. Since they don't have any kids here, that means that Bob's dumbass did that. Going back this way. Oh, wait a minute. Oh. I don't have any of these other things that need to go here, though. So now we're back to the grotto with the corn. Hello? Let's follow this pile of trash. Jesus, somebody's a slob. Office of Bob McTavish, co-founder, of course. Bob, you disgusting slob, until you've cleaned up after yourself, I am blocking your entrance into the bathroom. I'm tired of calling in the hazmat team every week. Moron. Cordially, Ted. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, hello. An invoice for some commissioned paintings. Oh, this ought to be good. An invoice from a very famous painter commissioned to create a set of portraits of the founders. Appears to be spearheaded completely by Bob with very specific instructions on the style of pro uh, portraits to be painted. Cost is in the millions. Because of course it is. A military backpack. I picked up a military backpack. It can carry lots of things, none of which come to your mind at this particular moment. Okay. Ooh. A small screwdriver. Bob's favorite screwdriver used to pry open Bob's secret storage spot. It is completely reuse, uh, useless for removing screws, but makes a nice ping noise when tapped against the metal railing. Fancy soup. Sugar bagels. Hell yeah. Alright, well, we've now got a screwdriver to open the obviously fake panel. What is up, my corn dudes? I'm still worried about y'all up there. Looking all pensive and stuff. Wait a minute. Yep. I don't still don't have anything that goes there. Not sure what we're doing to little Vladdy, but whatever. That was dead. Yeah, there it is. Okay, I got some RAM. Hiya, Ted. Just a heads up, I put your RAM right here. This way it gets less dusty. Bob. Look at all of this RAM. It has to be at least six, maybe seven bytes of RAM. You figure that's the most bytes in any bit of RAM ever and search for a computer upgrade with it. Knowing not the slightest idea how to do it, I think it's search for a computer to upgrade with it. Okay. Where the hell was the computer? It was over here by Vladdy. The old computer has been upgraded. It's not your best work. I can sort of tell. Employing the angry caveman style of upgrading a computer, <laughs> you have somehow, against all odds, succeeded in making the computer better and much less aerodynamic. <laughs> what in the hell is going on? <laughs> Alright. This looks, yep. Ding. What? What are you looking at? 
Something on Vladdy's face? Why you no talk? Do you understand? Understand what Vladdy is saying. <sighs> Butso boy, you're a big idiot. How you survive by being stupid? <sighs> Fine. Vladdy, help. <sighs> Oh, why guy so many? Huh? What is this on Vladdy's back? This makes no sense. All of this is very stupid. Agreed. So, where we go? You have acquired Vladdy. Prepare to be insulted forever. Hey, buddy. Oh, I'm standing on Vladdy. My God, he squeaks when he walks. I'm gonna die. Oh, we hello, need you friend. to settle a debate on taking naps. Oh my God. What is that? What is... what is Plant saying? Is that a... It is... It's a helicopter! What? What? Da? Give me a ride, Mr. Helicopter! No, give me a ride! We can all fit just climbing! My lucid drug! What's the way? Boy, Grisomnyoi! Chitania Vesela! What a rude contraption! Well, if you're just gonna be like that... Right. We completely forgot. We have a message for you. It's very important. You should hit the showers. What's a shower? I have no idea. Vladdy does not like it here. <laughs> I don't either, Vladdy. Alright, where the hell was the shower? <clears throat> the shower was back this way. <clears throat> 